Hello everybody, welcome to part 8 of your GameMaker Beginner to Pro tutorial. In this video, we're going to add an ammo system to our gun so we don't have unlimited bullets. And we're also going to learn a little bit more about if statements. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing we want to do is create a new variable called ammo. And we're going to give it the value of 10. So we have 10 bullets. Now we want to see how much ammo is on the screen. So we're going to go to our draw event. And just like we drew the hit points, we're going to draw out that ammunition variable. So I want you to highlight this, and just copy the color and the text, because we are going to change the color. We're going to paste it. We're going to say C under slash black. And our X position, we want to stay the same. But we want it to be a little bit under our hit points, so we'll say like 310. And then instead of hit points, we'll say ammo. Now when we run the game, we're going to see that we have 10 ammunition. But of course, it's not uh, working yet. Got to keep on coding. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to our global left down. Again, this is an all object player. Uh, and we want to set up our ammunition system in here. So what does this do? If can shoot equals true, shoot the bullet, set that variable can shoot to false, and then in your alarm, zero, set it to 10 steps. So and what the alarm does is just reset this to true, and the whole thing starts over again. So this gives us our delay. So we're not shooting things fast. But now we need it to consider ammunition. Well, when we're, we're talking about if statements, there, there's a lot more you can do with if statements than just what you're seeing right now. You can have it, uh, well, well, first I'll, I'll just say this. You have your if statement, then you have your condition, and after that you have the code that you want to run. There's more terms we could talk about, but that's the gist of what we're talking about in this video. If condition is met, run the code. Well, you can have multiple conditions. You can say if can shoot equals true and ammo is greater than zero, then run this code, okay? So what this is gonna do now is obviously what you would logically expect. It's gonna check if both of these conditions are true, okay? And uh, so obviously it's gonna work, uh, but it's still not subtracting from our ammo, uh, but it is checking that condition. Our, our ammo is definitely greater than zero. Uh, if we go to our create event and start our ammo at, let's say, zero, and we run the game, and you're going to see ammo zero. Well, now we can't shoot, can we? Because it's checking that both of those conditions are met. So uh, we want to subtract from the ammo. So after we create our bullet, we want to say ammo minus equal one. Okay, that's going to subtract one from our variable, and that's going to give us our ammunition system. Oh, I better uh, set it back to 10. All right, in our create event, ammo equals 10. Now, 10 ammo, when we shoot, we, uh, we lose bullets. All right, that easy. And uh, of course now, you can add things like ammo packs. When you collide with an ammo pack, you give yourself 10 ammo again. For now, we'll just say, um, we'll, just, we'll just use our space event again. We'll just keep playing with this. This will be our kind of like a, our toy box here. Uh, we're gonna delete what we made last time. Let's delete this alarm one because that's that speed boost. We don't need that anymore. And let's delete this code, and we'll just say ammo equals 10. So this will reset our ammo, or reload our ammo to 10. So now when we run the game, and we shoot bullets, we run out, we click space, we're gonna get 10 again. Now obviously you can abuse this, because <laughs> you'd have to code uh, mechanics to make it to where you can't abuse it, but it does work. Um, and it gives you some limitations here. Okay, uh, next thing I want to show you is a little bit more about the if statement. So let's go back to our uh, global left down. And uh, yeah, this works. So you can do and, uh, check for multiple conditions if this and this is true. You could use or, so if can shoot is true or if ammo is greater than zero, shoot. Well, you wouldn't want that because, you know, you, you'd just be able to spam bullets again because it wouldn't matter if the... Uh, thing is false or not. So, you know, you'll get weird mechanics doing that. So we do want both of them to be true. But yeah, that's some things you can do. You can do and, you, you can do or, uh, and there's a few other things you can do too, but that will cover it for now. Now, the other thing you can do with if statements is you can have an if statement within an if statement, okay? So if we delete this and ammo greater than zero, and let's just click enter here, and above the code that we've wrote, let's write 
if ammo is greater than zero, curly bracket, and then after the alarm zero, put a curly bracket there, and then indent all of this. This does the same exact thing. If can shoot is true, uh, and also if ammo is greater than zero, then shoot the bullet and subtract one from the ammo. Does the same thing, but it gives you more flexibility. And I'll show you one reason why you'd want to do it this way. Because there's also something called elf, else statements. If I can talk, else. <laughs> uh, if ammo is greater than zero, that's an if statement, but you can also do else. So at the end of this curly bracket here, which GameMaker helps you to show you which ones are linked together. Um, but at the end of this one of uh, ammo greater than zero, type this, else, then do another curly break bracket, and then end it here. And within this else statement, we'll say show message, you are out of ammo. Okay, so now we're saying, okay, can shoot is equal to true. If ammo is greater than zero, shoot the bullet, subtract one from the ammo, reset our can shoot uh, variable. But if we do have zero ammo or less than zero, show a message that's gonna say we are out of ammo. This is an else statement. We run the game, we shoot until we're out of ammo, and now it's gonna say you are out of ammo. And anytime I try to shoot, it's gonna do that until I click space and reset it. So that's just some more I wanted to teach you about if statements, and it starts to make your code look really cool. Look at that, you're like, uh, you're a programmer now. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> you can impress the ladies, or the gentlemen, if you're, uh, Okay, well, let me back back off that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there we go. We have an ammo system. We <laughs> we have uh, some if statements going on. You learn some more. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please leave a comment if uh, you have any questions or if you have a comment. And uh, follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, x.com slash wizardy. Join our Discord. The link is in the description. I also do have a Patreon. If you would like to give me some money, <laughs> I'll never say no to money, <laughs> but that'll help me with uh, different projects and so on. And then there's some perks with that too. So thank you. I love you very much. I'll see you next video.